previously on Baseball Night in New York. Welcome to Baseball Night in New York. This feels a lot different than it normally does. Special guest Steven Matz joins the show. Pete Alonzo is joining us. Jason Giambi, Mets bench coach. Hensley Mullins, by the way, best background we've had so far. Mets pitching coach Jeremy Hector. Ron Swoboda, Ed Frankel, a familiar face to our audience, joins us. Bobby Ojeda, Ron Darling. Mets hitting coach Chili Davis. Jesse Orozco, Daryl Strawberry joins us. Keith Hernandez, Doc Gooden, Mike Baxter. Josh Tolley, Terry Collins, Kelly Johnson, and John Franco, Pat Mahomes, Mike Hampton, Jay Payton, Benny Agbayani. We welcome Turk Wendell to the show. Man, it's really hard to believe. We've done seven, more than 70 of these shows from home, and we've gotten some great guests, thanks to uh, all of our producers and our crew who have made this show from home happen. Um, and, and for the ability to get these guests, I feel extremely lucky. Uh, Anthony and Todd, favorite guest appearance that you've seen or t- spoken to on the show? Um, I, I start with me. I, God, it's, it's a toss-up to me. I think Keith was really great and entertaining and very funny and get to see uh, Haji in the background, and that was all great. But to me, I think Doc Gooden, to me, was the my favorite, only because I know Doc and have known him for so many years but, you know, because of all the stuff that goes on with Doc on and off the field over the past few years, it was so great to see him in such a good, good spirit, so articulate, talking about the 86 team and just adding, I think, a lot to this and a lot of insight into pitching and a lot of um, things that you sometimes aren't able to really get out of him. So uh, to me, I, I really, really enjoyed that and loved having him on and, and seeing him share um, you know, what, what he has to offer, which is, which is so much. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm going to agree with Todd. That's, that's crazy. That was my pick right from the beginning. I mean, I just, I remember that interview and just his honesty, his openness about everything that went right, everything that went wrong. Um, the way he seemingly, you know, has, has found himself, um, you you know, he's really helping out his community. He's doing so much. Um, just, it was just really an amazing, uh, you know, guy to interview, uh, to get to talk to, um, just to hear his point about, you know, some of the things that he went through when he was playing and, and, and just to see where he's at now. It was just, to me, it was almost like, uh, you know, inspiring, life inspiring. It was really cool to see. I, I the highlight of, of guests for me was in the middle of the Turk Wendell interview when I kind of went to a, a I got personal with him. And I said, look, my first baseball memory is at Shea asking my dad what the hell you were doing with the rosin bag. And then the interview just kind of turned into this is a very personal, funny exchange and back and forth. And that was really genuinely fun to, to be a part of. 